So I will refactor this one again, maintaining this kind of structure. So let's clear out a little bit. So this cluster, I will, but whenever you do that, okay, I will do first grouping first. So these two, this one is create two curves. And then I'll group them. And also, do you see this mark here? This one is aligning uh, function. So if you do this one, left, middle, everything in the center, but I would not do that. But you can align it visually. So organi organizing your code is actually extremely important to extend your code and continue to work. Actually, this one is actually more important than trying a new one. So group them. So here, actually, I'm just simply loft, extrude. So here, I rather I called it, I kind of grouping this one. I'm a little bit path through because we are out of time. And then this one finally contour. I group them. I locate it here. A little bit temporarily here. And then finally another one. I group them. I locate it here. So this one works as a like skeletal code. And what I'm saying is here is that something so here. What I'm going to do, I will locate temporarily an input and output parameter here shortly. So actually this one, there was a multiple one, we can't, but here is curves. So I write down curves, I locate a curve here, and then I simply pass through this curve, bypass it, uh, we should disconnect it, uh, disconnect or for now, and I connected this one. So same thing, but this one is kind of having input and output location. Even if you want, I would rather add a point here. So here I would say point and another point. And then this one goes to here and bypass it. So show that this one, the input is point. And I will do the same way. Locating point here. Disconnect it. I connect this one instead. So I kind of showing that this point is output of the first one. And this is the input of the second one. So I clearly kind of like stated that what is the input and what is output. Here I'll do it again. So this one is extrusion. So we don't know what it is. Basically this one is shape. Probably shape means surface. So I connect it. And I actually rather connect it here. And then this one is the output of the first one. Actually, input is actually this one. Actually, I would rather ungroup it and then I make it outside and state that this one is the grouping. The okay, problem there's error. So, this is not surface actually. So, we need to check what it is. So, if this one is actually volume, not the surface. So, probably there's a BRAP actually. You can use uh, BRAP here instead. So I simply connect it and connect it here. So everything is okay. So now you have a question. What is BRAP? What time is it? Yeah. 
Okay, so we have still more minutes. So B rep is boundary representation, which means basically means volume. What does the boundary representation mean? When you have something strange shape about it, in computational geometry, you want to simplify this kind of idea of any kind of shape. And actually, the, this boundary representation is make a box around it where the, where the edges are, and then it create a box where the all the edges meet. Something like this. So this is called boundary representation. This is called bounding box. This is also called the BRAP, boundary representation. Why computation use this one? What is the internal data structure of line? Two points. So they think about then what is what could be the internal data structure of any volume? If a line is defined by start point and end point, what if about the surface? How can you define this one? So actually, they start to think about a boundary line, which is something like this. And they will try to want to simplify the calculation. And BRAP is actually, they simplify the minimum volume of box that they present the complex of, of any complex surface. I will cover, I will kind of print out this one theoretically later, but that is what it is. And actually, volume is really represented by BRAP from now on. And then I also add here contour. So what is, what should be in the middle here? What is the data type of Control lines. Actually, it's a curve. So output is simply a simple curve, and this one is actually loft. And actually, I will even kind of clarify what is the output of this loft. Probably, yes, B rep. And this is connected. And then, probably, so this one is a cleaned one. And then we clear, we kind of we clarify what, are, what is the input and output. So I want to also do this kind of styling. This one is just simply a styling issue. It does not really improve the performance of code, but what it improves, it improves actually our performance in terms of coding. So this one is basically, it, this is not for a computer, but this is for us. But the, the development of computational, the computer program language is actually to improve human performance, not machine's performance. Because if you're considering computer's performance, what language should we use? It's called assembly, which is very, very low level computer programming. You have to remember all the names of how computer works. But the development, the history of computer programming language is actually make us more comfortable, more comfortable and make us more efficiently work. And so kind of this is so far today. So continue, so your job is, okay, so one, just one last thing. Do you have a class after this? What time is it? Okay, one more minute. So I will finish in one minute. <laughs> after you create not this one, I will delete that. So probably for laser cut user, what you have to do is this one, move and rotate. What you have to do? You have to move and distribute all the curves, so you do you can laser cut. So last week you you do manually that kind of move or down, it's kind of sideways. Yeah, yeah. So here that um, I just simply bake it. 
So now we have all curves. And then last week you kind of you manually move and then so you use a laser cutter, right? So now let's just do it in grasshopper. <laughs> so now you don't need to do it manually. <laughs> so use a move. So what is the first thing? You have to move or zero coordinate, right? Or it doesn't really matter. Probably, yeah. So, so you, all you have to do is move sequentially side by side. Think of how you can do that. <laughs> so that's the assignment. <laughs> mm -hmm. But for a 3D printer user, you don't need to handle this one. But okay, from now on, or manual model making is prohibited 